Hello and welcome to our second challenge in the Pico CTF, Mod 26 in the Cryptography category. Description, cryptography can be easy. Do you know what ROT13 is? And then we have what looks an awful lot like the flag because we see the, the format we're used to where this probably means Pico CTF and we have the curly and a closing curly and something in the middle. So. I do know what Route 13 is, but I'd like to show you guys how to go about finding things you don't know. So uh, here we see a Wikipedia article on it. So it stands for rotate by 13 places. And so you can see a mapping here. So for example, A would go to N, B would go to O, C would go to P. So if we had something, for example, like uh, cat, C, goes to P, A goes to N, and T would go to G. Actually, what's nice about this chart is things are symmetric, so uh, meaning you don't have to display both sides of things. So if we went from A to N, and then we rotate it again by 13, we would come all the way back around. So think of it like going around a clock. So going six hours and then another six hours brings you exactly to where you've been. So going from A, 13 spaces to N, and then going another 13 spaces brings you past Z back to A. So if we were to change cat into its encoding, we would see that that becomes P, A becomes N. I could have picked a better uh, place to do this, sorry. And T becomes G, so PNG. And there's actually a very nice calculator that will do this for us. So here we can see it's taking the input and it's performing ROT13 and it's giving us PNG. And then if we, which is what we expect, it's what I just showed you guys. If we took this, PNG and applied ROT13, we get CAT. So cool, applying the transform to itself undo, undoes it. So let's take our flag, put it in, and that matches up with what we'd expect. So let's try to submit it. Let's read the hint as well. You can solve online if you don't want to do it by hand. Right, so you could have if you really felt like it, you could have gone through here and done it by hand, but this is much better. Submit the flag. Perfect. I wanted to just take the opportunity because it's a very simple challenge to introduce uh, a bit of light programming because we're gonna need it eventually. So I'm gonna be using Python because most people seem to for CTFs. So just pick a language, stick with it. So to figure out how to do ROT13 in Python, I just Googled ROT13 Python, looked at this Stack Overflow article, started reading. This looked like an okay solution, but I like to always read through and see if anybody has a really simple one. And there was. There was this library, Codex, that you could import where you declare what you want to uh, rotate and then that you want to do ROT13, and it does it. So I went over here. So this is VS Code. This is a, an IDE. It's a way to develop code with nice syntax highlighting and things like that. And I just took their code. I put the result in a variable and I'm printing it. So we're going to run that. And we can see the result printed out right here. So just wanted to get your feet wet with this because we'll probably have to use some sort of coding in a lot of these. If you attempted this challenge and struggled, you might be feeling bad about yourself. It looks like I did it so easily, a walk in the park. Sometimes that's true, but most of the time it's absolute chaos as I misread the question, forget how to do basic tasks, wonder why I'm not better at this, struggle to string together sentences to analogous an audience and debug mistakes. I stream Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern time on Twitch. You'll feel better about yourself after watching me fail. I guarantee it.